Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, today is my last official water hunt. It's been a great year this year, but I'm ready to get out of the water. I think I've grown web hands and web feet, and I'm ready to get back on the land. official water hunt. Uh, as this video right now is starting, I'm at 110 rings and plus whatever I find on this video. After Labor Day, the lakes get uh, where nobody's really swimming now. It's kind of, the summer's kind of officially over. I'm at my favorite lake. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be any other guys out here with me or not, usually there are. And so uh, we're gonna get out here and uh, see what we can find. So let's get in the water, let's do it. Well, I've been out here at this lake, got one other guy with me. Um, I got a 42 here, dug it up, and it's going to be a Lord's Prayer stainless steel ring. Got an earring as well. So let's keep on going, see if there's anything else out here. A lot of change, a lot of pennies. All right, let's keep going. Well, I've got my second target here. It's some type of necklace, triangle with a circle and a line through it. If you know what that is, let me know. Bring it up like a 70. Uh, real scratchy. All right, let's keep on looking. All right, not too far away from that necklace, so I was getting a 71, 72. It's going to be a tungsten ring. Black tungsten men's. All right, looking for that elusive silver and gold ring. So let's keep on going. All right here, it's getting a 61, and it ends up being a uh, silver bracelet with a few designs on top of it. 925 on the clasp. It's not broken either. It uh, just must have come un unclasped on them, fell down. A little over waist deep water here. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I was getting a real jumpy low 40 signal. Had a bobby pin in there too. And ended up being a, just a real rough stainless steel looking ring. I mean, where's the silver? Where's the gold? All this is is junk rings. My last ring was just a junk ring. Ah, come on silver gold, let's keep looking. Well, that's gonna do me at this lake. Uh, I've got another lake I'm gonna go hit. It's not that big of a swim area, but usually gets me one ring or one necklace or something. So I'm going to hit it, and then I'm going to go down to another lake on my way home and see what we can find there. So not too bad here. Nothing really precious, but did find a few things. So let's move on. Let's see what else we can get. Let's go for that gold ring. Let's go for that silver ring. Let's go get them. All right, I made it down to my next location. This lake has always produced at least one piece of jewelry, so you never know. So it's a beautiful beautiful sight see the mountain in the background so I got a good little spot so let's get in here and see what we can get I haven't been here maybe five minutes and dug a penny spill and got this big old long chain check that out I don't know, it's, it's ringing up like an iron grunt. It wasn't, uh, but it could be silver, but I don't know, I don't see no clasp on it. Clasp is broken, but hey, I'll take that. That may be a good sign that there's some stuff in. Let's keep looking. Well, check that out. It uh, looks rough on that side, but it looks good on that side. I think that's gonna be a gold-plated copper or something like that. I have to wait, get back, and see if I can see any markings on it on the inside. It's ringing up a 78. So I'll take a 78 any day. I'm going to have to keep going. I see a huge, huge thunderhead 
uh, billowing up right there headed my way so I'm going to try to get as much honey I can get in before that rain gets here so that's a that's a good find let's keep on going well check this out this is one of the second one of these that I have dug I think it's silver on top and it's a wolf thing and it was a necklace I'm gonna search around here for the uh, chain um, it could have been that chain that I found earlier, I'm not sure. But uh, this is so weird. A wolf thing. Check that out. Second one of these I have dug. Or third one, actually. Third one. But the second one on a bracelet, on a necklace. All right. It's thundering all around me. Let's keep on going. Check this out. I found those two rings two different times but they're about a foot apart that one's going to be just uh, I think junk and gold plated that one's missing a diamond but anyway there's two rings right there well it definitely hasn't been hunted that's three rings out of here plus that necklace and that tooth so the storms are kind of going to the left of me and to the right of me and there's just kind of blue sky in the middle so I'm going to keep going until I can get through the shallow here see what else we can come up with so that's not too bad is it I wish they were precious but I'll take whatever I can get as long as that rain is holding off I'm gonna stay out here and just keep working I'm coming back through the same areas that I've uh, hit already but I'm glad I did because I was getting a 48 49 and check that out that's a it's a stainless steel it seems like that's all I'm finding is junk rings and stainless steel today but hey, I'll take it. And I just found a bracelet as, too, as well. I guess it's stainless steel. I wish it said 14K in there, but it's too light for 14K. Going back over those same areas. Let's keep on going. I'm going to try to go out deeper this time and see if there's anything out there. Let's go before the rain gets here. All right. This is the last lake, the last swimming hole, and the last time I water detect in 2022. So... I'm at my third lake. I didn't find anything at the first one. Didn't find anything at the second uh, lake uh, swim area. Now we're down here on the last one. It's a small one. So let's see if we can get anything here. If not, I will see you guys at the wrap up. Well, it's been a long day. I got up at uh, three o'clock this morning actually and uh, took off. And so I'm still out here at the lake today. It's a beautiful lake, beautiful lake. I just decided I'll do my wrap up right now. But it's been a long day. It's now about six o'clock. And so I've been up since three and I drove three hours to get here and then another hour and a half to get to from each lake to each lake. But for one day, three lakes and uh, I think five swim areas, I did pretty good. I didn't get any great stuff, but uh, you know, good way to end the uh, end the year and uh, so it's all done now I'm gonna hang the stuff up and wait till next May and start switching over to land hunting but let me I got everything laid out for you let me spin you around let me show you what I found today all right here's my trash not a whole lot of trash this uh, trip in these lakes uh, did get a whole beer and uh, there's my aluminum there's some trash hair stuff all the different types of steel there's my bottle caps my fishing weights, my pull tabs, my beaver tails. I did get this cool looking uh, little digger. I'll do that for bottle digging. I'll save that. And uh, so here's my treasures. Here's all the quarters I got today. I got one, two, three dollars and 25 cents in quarters. I got five, 10, 15, 19 dimes and five, 10, 15 nickels. And 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 51 pennies. And about 20 of them as well out of one swim area. Here's my treasures uh, out of all the different lakes here. I got a set of keys here on that last swimming hole that I was in. I've got uh, some earrings, a lot of hoop earrings. That's a cloth one. i never seen one with cloth like that. And then also got some ear studs and then here's my bracelets i got some little this is a, another one of those christian uh, uh catholic bracelets 
I got a butterfly bracelet. It's a little piece of chain here. And then check this out. This is lake stained. And so it says 14K on it. It says 14K on the clasp, one of those clasp. And you flip it over and it says 14K right there. So we'll, we'll go get the lake stain off of it. I don't think that's really uh, gold whatsoever. But uh, it says it, so we'll try to clean it up and test it. Look at this big old long chain. My goodness, I bet that's two feet long, if not more. I thought maybe it was silver, but I see that rust in it, so I know it's not silver. So it's just a big long chain. Here's my necklaces. I don't know what that symbol is, a line, a circle, and a triangle. If you know what it is, please comment. I thought this was an earring, but it wasn't. It was actually a, a pendant, a necklace. I don't know what it is. It's got a little garnet stone right there, nothing on the back. And there's that weird looking tooth with a duck or, or a crocodile or something on it. Oh, strange things in the lakes. Here's my rings, no fancy rings today. I got a one little junker ring, another non-precious ring, a stainless steel ring, a spinner stainless steel ring with the Lord's Prayer on it, that's cool. Uh, another stainless steel ring, another gold colored stainless steel ring, a gold plated ring, none of that's real. You can see some of the plating coming off of it. And then the best ring of the day, I guess, is this tungsten ring. And uh, so eight rings today in all, not a bad day, not a bad day for one day being my last hunt. Well, there's all the trash and here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can come out to a beautiful lake and find and put on your tailgate and do a wrap up. The greatest treasure, my friend, is what's found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. <laughs>